Good morning, friends. Or actually, it's morning where I am at. I believe it's like 7.10 or something. We have been up since like 5.15 or something this morning. My son like randomly woke up and was like, I want to get up now. And he happened to like wake up when my husband was going to work. So we said bye to my husband, see you later. And then tried to lay on the couch for a little bit and like function as a human for a little bit. Um, and I was like, let me go film because my son is preoccupied right now. I haven't even had coffee yet, but I'm trying to be a good person and drink my water. But I got a little bit of a breakfast in me. I fed my son. He ate. Like I said, he's content right now. And now I just want to play in my planner. Um, and I guess just kind of give you guys like an update of everything. But first of all, let me show you guys my cute planner monkey co haul. Um, I already opened them up, but I got some new washi tape. These are her um, Halloween washi tapes. This one's just like um, the books, but they're just um, Halloween colors, purple, green, black, and it has like a spider with spider webs and it's so cute. I love it. I actually have another book one and that one's my favorite one. And then this one is a new favorite too. And then this one has pumpkins, ghosts, candles, um, the moon, a cat, some orange bows, some like black stars, and it's just really, really cute. But, and then also she gave me this cute little freebie in my order and it's just Jack and Sally and it's Macy. And I don't know who this character is, but I know it's the PMC paper something bits co or something like that. Um, I also ordered this basic witch. <laughs> I think it's so cute. And then I also got this vinyl decal and it just says no you hang up and it's Macy as um, Ghostface. And then here is my freebie you guys. My new freebie in the flesh. And it's so pretty. I absolutely love it. I'm so happy with it and I think it's just, I love it. It's so cute. Um, here's another freebie that came with my order. And then you get these little cards on there. I absolutely love these, especially to put inside of my Commit 30. So I'm excited to have this. Um, here's a couple stickers. I already used one. It's just Macy. Oh, Paper Bits Co. is the, um, the person that she collabed with. Um, and it's the little Jack and Sally uh, decal thingy. But it's so cute and it's just Macy and she's like she's going trick-or-treating with pumpkins and you know the whole thing. I am all about the fall vibes guys. Okay and then also some date covers and these are all like spooky date covers. So freaking cute. Here is another one. It's just like dripping blood. Here's some spooky coffee. I absolutely love these so much. Just like a ghost coffee, pumpkin, spiders with spider web, um, dripping blood, witch's hat, and also like pumpkin spice latte. I think that is so cute. And then here is a cute little sampler that I grabbed. And then um, this like spooky book stack. So freaking cute. So that was my recent order from Planner Monkey Co. that I grabbed. I had to grab like a whole bunch of like spooky uh, fall stickers because we love fall around here. I don't know what happened to the little, oh here it is. <laughs> I'm trying to look for it. Anyways, I don't know where this video is going to go. I kind of wanted to go over, um, I guess kind of like a couple of things with you guys. I recently went to um, our local grocery store here and it's actually called HEB and I actually found these two really cute sticker books and my husband was like, just grab both of them because we we know you want it. So I grabbed both of these. Um, this one is like a Care Bears one. 
and this one is a Halloween sticker book. Um, I'll go ahead and go through the Care Bears one with you. I thought this was adorable, but it just has a whole bunch of cute stickers. The main reason why I really, really grabbed it is because of the self, oh, sorry, I'm not even in frame, but because of the self-care club. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. Because of the self, uh, self-care self club one. Um, and then also because, hello. <laughs> and also because of, there's a certain sticker that I really, really like in here. Oh my gosh, and these two, are you kidding me? These look like washi tapes. And I just, I think they're so freaking cute. Um, now all of a sudden I can't find the sticker that I wanted to show you guys. Honey, please, don't be so loud, okay? Oh, this one here, where, where they're doing yoga. I thought it was so cute. Like, they're all, like, balancing on the mat. Um, totally passed out here on the yoga mat. But I think that is so freaking cute. I want to stick this in my planner, but I just haven't, like, figured out where I want to inside of my new 2024 planner. But, yeah, I just, I think it's so cute. I thought it was adorable. And I'm like, I can definitely use these stickers anytime throughout the year if I really, really wanted to. Like, who doesn't love a good Care Bears theme? All like of my 80s and 90s babies know. And obviously, like now too, if you really like Care Bears too, and you're like not an 80s or 90s baby. But that is, uh, I got that, like I said, over at the grocery store. It was called, it's called HEB. Um... I think I paid like 10 bucks for both of these sticker books, which really isn't that bad. Not each, but $10 for both of them. And then this one was a Halloween sticker book. And of course, you guys know I had to grab this one. Uh, let's just kind of flip through it. I love these. These are so cute. I want to show my son, but he's going to be like wanting to take them off and I want to use them. <laughs> but I... I'm so excited to use these two. Sorry if there's like a light shadow, whatever. Oh, yellow ball. I love this. This is a, so this is a haunted house. Um, there's so, it's, this is the base of it. And then you like stick them on top of each other. And these are individual stickers, like windows and doors. And it says, make your own haunted house. So you can like make your own windows, like how you want to design it. And I just think that is so cute. Um, these little fall ones too. Those are, I think those are great too. And then here is some letter stickers. I used some of them, but then I ended up not liking it. Um, and I took them out. And then you just basically get like duplicates of what I just showed you guys. But yeah, that was a sticker book that I got over at HGB too. Um, and then I guess like the other planner update that I have is I am going to, I know I said I was going to hold off on my planner, but I really, 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 really want to start it. <laughs> and I am just super excited to hop right into this. So I think I'm going to shelve this one here. Um, my 2023 planner, because obviously like no amount of like space is going to take up all these pages and it is just what it is. Like I didn't plan on it and I want to be able to like, just kind of be like, okay, this is a year that I didn't really plan on my Hobonichi and we'll just, we'll just call it as it is. Mm, so I don't know. I'm really, really thinking about hopping into my 2024. Um, let me give you guys like a little bit of an up, like an update over the whole two weeks. Everything's still the same. My little deco still the same that I did here on camera. Um, just laid a few things down. I was going to get like a whole like kit 
and like cover these pages but I'm like no Keish you're going for simple like there you go again you know not overwhelming myself but like making it more than it should be so I went ahead and laid this sticker down I just love this sticker here I've held on to it for many reasons but I was like you know what it would look cute to cover up this part here and for now I'm just going to use sticky notes to cover up this page um, here I don't know what I'm going to do here I normally kept um, yes wow who is that um, lightning McQueen You want to take it out to the truck? Yeah. We can't though, because Daddy went to work. Maybe another time? Yeah. Okay. But no, nah, normally here, I put my um, menstrual tracker. But I actually need to update this because I haven't even updated it since the Mom. last time. Um, Mom. Yes, wait, Dalton. Wait. Oh, you want to hang it up? Daddy, come. Okay, when Daddy comes, you want to hang it up? Yeah. Okay, we will. Yeah. Uh, up, 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 it's, it's real life at 7, like 20 in the morning. Um, but anyway, so I use this for a menstrual tracker. Um, and I think it's very, very functional because then I'm able just to kind of look at it like quickly here. But I think I want to try to use it for something else and then put like this information in my health tracker instead. So that's what I'm wanting to do. So I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Um, I'll probably lay like monthlies here if I can, or like monthly stickers here just to make it like more cute. I have been doing this like the past few years and I'm just kind of like, okay, I wanna do something different. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking for this actually, just kidding. So I don't know what I'm gonna do here, but we'll figure it out as we go. And as you guys know, I already like did this here on camera. I laid down washi tapes for like the months and put the monthly stickers down. I went ahead and laid down like my family members' birthdays throughout the whole year. I just haven't put like holidays and all that stuff, but I'm like, uh, one thing at a time. Um, so yeah, that is what I did. And then there's November. I ran out of like little, I ran out of little cupcake um, stickers for birthdays. So I wasn't able to lay any down in November again. So I'm like, but it's okay. Um, so here is where I'm going to start. So if you guys remember, you guys know that I started this planner early. I don't know how many times I've like mentioned that, but you know, sometimes if you're new here, then you don't know. And this is the first video that you're watching. Um, but this is basically what I did last year for uh, October of 2022, because like I said, started this 2023 early. I did the same thing again. I just went ahead and laid down the sticker here. That's why I use um, a different sticker to kind of like make it different, look different. So then that way I know that um, this is 2023's October and November. And so this is why I shouldn't have moved my desk into his to his room with all his toys and everything. Um, but anyways, let's <laughs> move on. <laughs> Clearly, I haven't had coffee. What is that? Cake. cake. Yeah, that is cake. Okay, honey, can you please be quiet? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me some cake this early in the morning. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Honey, shh. I'm going to film, okay? Mom. Hmm? Yeah. You almost fell? Mom. Yeah. You're such a goofball. Uh oh, what happened to the TV? Go check on it. Is it okay? I don't even know. Anyways, guys, um, let's move on. So you guys already know that I already redated last year's, and then I did the same thing here. But except I wanted to like make a note just in case you're gonna do like what I'm gonna do. Um, so for the month of October. If you actually just um, highlight or like mark out December here, this is actually December of 2024. It starts exactly on the 1st and ends on the 31st as well. So you don't even have to redate October of 2020 or you don't even have to redate it. 
um, because technically this would be November and then this would be December when it's blank. But like I said, we're redating it. So, um, so there's no redating needed. Um, December 2024 starts on, on the same days as October 2023. You just got to cover it up and get rid of the December. And then also, it's the same thing for November as well, um, except you're just going to have to minus the 31st. So I went ahead and just like um, put, what is that stuff called? White out over it. So you'll just have to white out the 31st and then November's already done. So last year, last year the days were totally, totally off. So I had to use um, these stickers to redate them here like this. Um, but this year I don't have to do that because the days fall exactly perfectly on the days that I need. So I'm like, okay, that's perfect. I don't even need to redate any of them. So I wanted to let you guys know that December of 2024 and January of 2025, um, you don't need to redate them for October and November of 2023. If that makes any sense, if I'm not making any sense, I do apologize. In my head, it makes sense. Um... But yeah, so I went ahead and redate, uh, went ahead and decorated for these two months here and got them ready. Um, I just have February and March open. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Inside of this planner, I actually um, redated three months worth, so I was able to take up three three of the pages here, and then this page here, which is March of 2025. I went ahead and or this is March of 2021, no, 2022. And this is March of 2025. And I went ahead and just decorated it. So then that way I had more deco in here. I don't think I'm gonna do the same thing. I just really wanna keep it simple, like I said. So I might just end up leaving that blank. And eventually if I paste stuff in there, it is what it is, I'll just leave it like that. And then this is where the weekly start. Um, I already went through all of this with you guys on camera on my last video. Um, if you haven't seen it, then I was just putting these tabs down and stuff like that. But I already did this here on camera. Um, the next thing that I did was I went ahead and started redating for October uh, 16th. Um, again, per my last video, I was showing you guys how you guys can use December of 2025. Or, oh my goodness. I keep going, I'm so sorry if I'm like messing up here, but December of 2024, um, you typically don't use it. If you're like me, I go ahead and jump into a new planner starting the first week of December of like um, and the Hobonichi. So I don't even use December of the following year because I'm already in the new Hobonichi for the next year. So those December pages stay blank and they're just blank here on the back. So I was like, okay, I can start this on October 16th. And it can take me all the way to Thanksgiving and then I'll just do what I did last year and then just flip back to the beginning. So here it ends on the November 26th of 2023 and then you'll just go back to November 27th of 2023 and then from there you'll just move on um, and I won't have to use any pages because I don't I won't be taking up any of these pages here which I did inside of my 2023 and it made it kind of awkward. But I'm like totally, totally itching to start this planner. Um, and I'm like, what better way than the first week of October to start this planner again? Um, but if I do that, then I'm going to definitely have to take up some space here in the front, which I think I'll be fine with because I'm, I'm like, this is two years in a row, Keisha, that you have tried to wait until the first week of December and it didn't fall through. Um... Is it two years? No, last year I jumped in early and then this year. Okay, no. So yeah, this would be the second year that I would jump in early. Last year I couldn't wait because, you know, I didn't want to. So I'm like, either way, even if I started early, then I would just have to take up this week, this week, and then this week is when October 1st would be, which would um, cover up November 2024. But like I said, I can always do the same hack next year again. And just start in October again if I really really want to but I'm trying to see if I want to do that and if I do do that then um, 
then I'll, I'll just start it whenever. So, but yeah, that is basically what I did so far is I went ahead and just redated and laid down, laid down stuff. I have a whole bunch of like redating stickers. If you guys want to know what sticker book that I used for like, um, the numbers and stuff like that, this, um, sticker here on the side, you know, I don't even know what that's like. Um, I have these from Planner Monkey Co. And they are just like date covers that I went ahead and used. And I'm like, I have a couple of them. Why not use them? So I went ahead and did that. Actually, I'll probably leave that out. And then I use this sticker book, which is the Happy Planner Memory Keeping Stickers. And this just comes with like a ton. A ton of stickers that you can use to like redate things. And um yeah i just really love this planner as you guys can see i really used it i actually have a backup one too just in case but these are the numbers that i used and you get like two pages of like the numbers um this one is actually doesn't go here but here's like some holidays here's some more date um numbers to date stickers And then there's some colorful ones. These ones I'm going to use for my health tracker. Oops. Right there. And then this one actually goes here. So see, I have two pages worth. So I have like a full page of number stickers still left. These are like bucket list um, things. Like this is for springtime. This one's for winter. This one's for summer. And then this one's for fall. So that sticker book is the one that I use. It's very, very functional and I always use it. You want me to change the TV? But yeah, that's what I use to redate are the numbers here. Um, same thing, I got these this October and these numbers from the same sticker book. Um, so that is what I did so far here. I haven't done anything in the notes pages. But I did want to talk about my health tracker. So I actually watched uh, Taylor's video. And um, she has, uh, I know, she, I, th I think she got this idea from someone else. I don't remember. Um, so I do apologize if this was your original idea, Taylor, if you're watching. But um, let me try to flip to a month that wasn't crazy for our health tracker. Nope. Just kidding, I guess all the months are crazy. Um, but, oh well, it is what it is. So this is basically the month tracker. Um, you draw them out here. So this was January or September of 2022. And you just lay them out. But she, so what, what originally... Um, you would do it monthly, so you would lay down the, what is this, a vellum, and then you would put your health tracker, and then the whole month would follow through there, um, and then you would move on to October, so here's October again, and then here is the, the tracker again, here's all of October, um, October, October, and then here is November again, and then, oh my goodness, November was crazy last year, I really hope and pray that it's not a freaking placebo effect and then it happens again and then this here is december so here's december and yeah so basically that's how it goes through right so you guys are seeing like the same pattern here um but i'm going to do the same thing again i really really love this um health tracker i have one in my commit birdie but this planner is going to be like going to go with me where I need to go, appointments, out and about, um, stuff like that. My Commit 30 is really, really huge. I love, 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 love this planner so much. Um, this has been like my go-to every single day. This is going to be my main planner still, but this is just going to stay home. And this is going to be able to go with me on the go. And that's why I want to keep it very minimal. Just things that I need to write in here without having to like worry about like this. Like this, I do memory planning. I do everything in this planner. Um, but this one here, I want to keep very, very minimal. 
but I want to be able to still have a health tracker just in case like I go to a doctor's appointment or I need to ref reference back to like let's say my husband's like do you remember when my back was hurting or like do you remember when I had a headache or you know you never know um I want to know when you know the last time I opened my contacts the last time I started my um my menstrual so I want to be able to do that and she had a great idea um and she actually laid out her whole entire um year here and I think that is so smart because I'm not having to flip through the pages and then be like, oh, where's my health tracker? Where's my health tracker? When it could just be here, kind of here in the front. So I think I'm going to do that too because that's very, very smart. And then from there, I don't really have a plan of what my sections are going to be like back here. It's going to just be a whole like glob of things, you know. Um, kind of here I would try to organize them but then I feel like that's too uh, overwhelming because then I'm gonna have to like stick to it and I'm just one of those people that kind of like just wants to let my planner flow with me and if I decide to write something down somewhere then you know then I'm just gonna do what I feel so for now I really don't have anything um, structured for these monthlies or these um, note pages back here except for the health tracker that's like the main thing and also another thing that I really struggled with with um the health trackers is that be at the beginning of every month you have to draw it in and it was sometimes I would go like days <laughs> without like into like the first new month and then all of a sudden I remember like oh I need to write this down and then I go into my planner and it's not even done and then I have to like draw it in and then finally write it in compared to just having it all laid out and then just done so I really really like that so that was a very good idea Taylor to like put it all together in the front so I am going to use that idea from you <laughs> and then um, the back pages are just gonna be a whole spiel of notes um, things that like meal prepping crock pot recipes um, things that I see on Instagram that I want to remember, especially about like motherhood, um, like things like my son's throwing a tantrum or like we're trying to get through a moment or something. I really, really like those and I reference back to those all the time. So if it really like resonates with me, I want to like keep it in my planner. Um, so that's probably what I will do back here. Um, you know, there's fall bucket list, there's winter bucket list, there's Christmas coming up, like, um, ideas for presents and my son's birthday's coming up. So it's like all these things I can write in the note pages and it will just come together like perfectly. Um, back here, I'll probably do like a little bit of deco because the back page needs love as well. So I will probably do that. Um, and just kind of update it. I think I decorated the back over here too. Let's see. Oh yeah, I definitely did. So I want to be able to do the same thing here. Um, I might use like one of these really cute papers that I have chilling over here. I have a whole bunch of papers. Um, everything that you basically see in here, I already had on hand. And right now I'm just trying to use up everything that I kind of have because I'm like, you know, I didn't really want to buy anything new because last year <laughs> everything I bought in here was like you know I decorated I bought a whole bunch of new stuff for this planner and yet like I didn't even really use it as much so I wanted to just kind of use what I had here on hand um because it was kind of last minute that I decided to grab the Hobonichi weeks again and so I'm like okay I'm just gonna use whatever I have here on hand but I am loving how it's coming out so far. I am really, really enjoying it. I'm really hoping that it doesn't get too bulky because you guys see this. Even though, like, I didn't even use the note pages that much in the back. It's the fact that it's this bulky already. And I think the main reason why, like, what's contributing to the bulk is all of the extra things that I pasted in. Like this um, vellum here all these like sticker papers that I use on here that make the paper feel thicker. Um, this middle part here as well. And then all hey, of the things, mom. hi honey. And then all of the things in the back as well. Love you. Love you. <laughs> and like these um, big sticker flakes that I got too. And just all of these things that I, I'd even write in this either. 
um, and then also taping in these vellums as well. So I'm trying to avoid the bulk as much as I can. If it gets chunky, then it will. For now, I'm trying to like keep it as minimal as I can. But of course, like I know me and I know like the, like this type of styling where I just stick anything in there works for me the best. So I'm like, I'm trying to keep it minimal. But if I don't, then I'm not going to like beat myself up over it. Um, but yeah, so let me see here. Let's see how long. Oh my goodness, Keisha, we're at 33 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to stop blabbering my mouth now. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I'm going to try to film another one. Let's hope I can do that. Um, but I want to go ahead and start this planner early. So maybe the next time you guys will see me, I will be planning in here and see how far along my planner has come. But anyways, you guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful morning. This was more of just like a planner chat. Um, why I'm going to start early. Um, and just kind of what I did already to show you guys, because I know in my last video, I was talking about like how I laid down these uh, sticky notes and this is how it's going to do it. And I thought it would be better for you guys to see it in person with the stickers already laid down and then get more of like a better description of what I'm doing. And then also how I redated my monthlies as well. But yeah, guys, anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Monday and I will chat with you guys in another video. Bye.